Have you let his credentials at all kind of affect you or get to your head mentally? How are you feeling about the mental aspect of the game? Uh, I think mentally uh, it's made it easier. You know, I think it's made the, the fight easier because uh, there's not the added pressure. You know, it's uh, I'm going against a great champion and uh, I'm excited to show everyone what I can do. And does this all feel real now with the fight week finally being here? Does it finally feel as though everything's coming to fruition? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, seeing all the posters all over the, the MGM casino and just uh, all the media and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's finally hit me a little bit harder, you know? How do you train for this event? How do I what? How do you train for this event? It's difficult to train your captain? Uh, no, my, my training's been the same. I mean, I train as hard as I possibly can for every fight. Three-round fight, five-round fight. I'm going in 100% trained every time, you know? Um, I, I, I could have went five rounds in any of my fights that I've had already. So, I mean, I've kind of stuck to the same training that I've already been doing. What did you tell to all your fans that will be here with you in this event? Um, just prepare for a war, you know, and that uh, they're going to be a new champion of the world. Thank you so much. Yeah. TJ, when you look at his record and having not lost in 32 straight fights or whatever it is, I mean, are you amazed by that? What do you What do you think of that? Yeah, history? for sure. I mean, especially because I've only been in the sport for four years, you know, and I had a couple blemishes. But, uh, yeah, for him to do it for as long as he's done it, I mean, that's a, that's a great feat, you know. Um, but like I said, I mean, every great champion is able to lose, you know. Every good story comes to an end. Um, I've seen a lot of great champions lose, and it's, it's, I really believe it's his time. I believe I'm the athlete that can do it. How hard, though, is it is it to do what he's done? I mean, just... Because, I mean, there's so many things that go into, f just not even to do with fight night itself, but even just the training and everything leading up to it that can go wrong. Yeah, I mean, you said it yourself, it's definitely a tough thing to do. I mean, he's he's done a great job of doing it. When you were, you know, maybe like a year ago, in, in where you were in your development, would you have thought that you would be ready for, for this, you know, one year later? Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't, I didn't really know how everything was going to pan out. Um, I didn't really think about it. I was on kind of like on a... a just one fight at a time thing, you know. I wasn't overthinking it. I didn't want to think about getting a title shot. I knew after my last couple of fights, so if I kept performing the way I was going to, that it'd be in the near future. I didn't know how soon, and obviously not as fast as it came. So even a couple months ago, after you had your last fight and you won, I mean, did you did you feel like oh, I'm, I'm getting close now? Or oh yeah, I mean, I knew I was close. I was feeling I was I felt I was deserving of it. You know, I felt I won my sin cell fight, and I should be the next one in line, anyways. But uh, I figured it would take a little bit longer because of the fact of that blemish on my, you know, on, the, on that and. Uh, you know, things worked out the way they were supposed to for me, and uh, I got the shot. We've seen a lot of video for you training in very unorthodox places <laughs> on, on the plane and on the baggage carousel and things. Yeah. So, you're just having fun with it, or is, yeah, that, is that normally what you do during fight week? Or just no, no, <laughs> just having some fun, you know, uh, relaxing with the team. We always kind of like to joke around and have as much fun as possible on a, on a fight trip because uh, getting your mind off the fight's important. You know, being able to relax and enjoy yourself and, uh, you know, enjoy your job just like with anybody else. What's your take on the odds right now? I mean, the odds I think are eight to one as far as uh, Baral being the favorite. What, what do you feel about that, and how underestimated do you feel? I definitely feel underestimated, but I mean that's what I expected. You know, I'm uh, new to the sport, and uh, he's a great champion, and I I've never seen a challenger go into a championship fight being uh, the favorite. So I expected to be the underdog. You know, it's it's expected. Did you bet on yourself? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> He's a great champion a couple times. What what do you think makes Henan a great champion? Oh, just his win streak, man. I mean, the way he finishes fights and how aggressive he is. He doesn't he doesn't dance around and, and, and outpoint you. He's gonna he's gonna come at you and try to finish you. And I think that makes a great champion. You also mentioned the experience, being that he has the 33 fight unbeaten streak. You've been training for four years. Being that you have the lack of experience compared to him, where do you see your edge coming from? My athleticism. I feel like I'm a little bit more athletic than he is. Um, I can put everything just uh, ju as put everything together just as well as he can. Um, my wrestling's stronger. Um, just being able to, to be a better athlete that night. You know, I'm gonna be a little, a little bit faster than him. Continue the pace. I feel like uh, he cuts too much weight. He's gonna get too tired. Um, I just got to, uh, you know, just believe in myself and go out there and do it. Uriah actually spoke to him yesterday. Uriah had told me that you feel you have the confidence to beat both Burrell and even Dominic Cruz. Um, basically, I guess you've had this kind of confidence since the beginning. Is that what's motivated you, what's driven you, is to see these other champions and idols and think that you can take them down? Absolutely. I mean, I think I learned that through just competing my whole life in wrestling is that the utmost, uh, utmost belief in yourself, which gives you confidence, you know, and if you don't if you don't go into a fight or a match or any kind of competition confident, then there's no point in being there, you know, you're not going to get that victory. Thank you. No problem.